Jazz After Dark. How you guys been? Good, good. I hope you've been good. Uh, tonight will be a short one. And this one may be going out to the beginners out there. And if you want to send this to somebody, that's cool. But it'll be joined by the last of my Old Fashioned with a Bullet this week. This week's will be, uh, we're not going to do day by day. This is adding up. This is getting real expensive. Uh, Bullet Bourbon, Kentucky Bourbon. Very, very good. One of my favorites, actually. Um, ranks up there with uh, Buffalo Trace. Maybe Weller, right, if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, but I just want to dive right into this here tonight. <clears throat> Roth IRA in simple terms. Uh, this is a really, really popular video that I did years ago. And I want to give you an update. We'll do the 2023 edition. We're going to do this in segments, by the way, real simple. We're going to talk about dollars going into a Roth IRA, dollars coming out of a Roth IRA, and how you invest the dollars in a Roth IRA, right? So that should cover basically everything for you. And uh, if you have any questions, of course, I hope you'll consider us here at Jazz Wealth. We're, we're actively trying to grow now. And uh, so check out our website. We're financial advisors that, you know, laid back, right? Very easy, laid back uh, financial advisors. But we have the backing of every bit of assets of Goldman Sachs. I mean, everything from small transactions all the way up to if you want to buy a a 40 story building or take your company public. We can help you with that now. So I hope you'll consider us. All right, here we go. 2023 edition, right? So dollars in. The first thing you need to know in 2023 is that if you're under the age of 50, you could put in $7,500. If you're over the age of 50, you get to put a little more. You got a thousand dollar extra there. Now the dollars that go in cause a lot of concern. People say, I put a dollar in. What do I tell the IRS? Don't I need to do something on my taxes? Nope. See, a dollar that goes into the Roth IRA, the government knows well, that's already been taxed. We're going to tax that dollar. And so therefore, we don't need to know anything about what you do with it. It's kind of like money from your paycheck. Once it's in your bank account, you can go buy a car with it or you can buy a candy bar or whatever it is. And the government doesn't need to know what you did with those dollars for the most part because they already got their tax money. So same thing, money goes into the Roth, you put in up to the $7,500 and that's it. What that also means is you do not get a tax form. You could certainly download a, uh, a recording of what you've done, but you don't get a tax form like you would for a traditional IRA or other accounts unless you broke the rules. So if you put money in and you agreed to the Roth IRA rules, which are basically I'm saving this for retirement, then you're fine. If you broke some kind of rule, like you withdrew earnings or you did something crazy in there, then you'll get a tax form because you probably made a few dollars on that money. And that little piece, that's what the government wants to know about. All right, so dollars going in, uh, nothing to report. You just put the dollars in. There's no need to have them taken out of your paycheck. You certainly can. Uh, and dollars um, uh, at the end of the year don't need to be accounted for through the IRS. Uh, dollars going out. This is a big hiccup area here as well, so listen carefully, right? Don't drink too much. I need you to remember this. The five-year rule trips people up. For most of you, just forget the five-year rule even exists. Stay with me for a second. We just talked about dollars going in. $7,500 in 2023 can go in. If you change your mind at any point in time, literally minutes after you put the $7,500 in or any amount, up to that. Uh, if you change your mind, you're allowed to do that. You don't have to wait five years. See, remember the IRS says the money going in has already been taxed. So we're cool. If you want to take it out, put it back, take it out, put it back, take it out, put it back. Uh, there's a little, you can't do that. But if, if theoretically, if you made a few mistakes, you accidentally put too little, too much, made a couple transactions, you're not getting penalized and you're not getting taxed. The five-year rule applies to people right around that 59 and a half area that want to start taking money out. It does not apply to most people. So any dollar you put in, you think, oh, it's for retirement. Life gets in the way. Uh, maybe you oversaved. That's common. And you need to take a thousand out. You're allowed to do that. No questions asked. You will be able to report that. You will not have to pay any tax there. Now, if you put a thousand dollars in, and I don't know why, but let's say this year is a great year. You put a thousand in, the market goes up 10%, you made 10%, you're all excited. 
Well, you made $100, right? 10% of a thousand is $100. And so if you take that money out, that $100 right there, well, that hasn't been taxed yet. The thousand has, and you're free to take that as you want. But the, the $100 hasn't been taxed. That's where, yes, you will have to pay a penalty. You will have to pay the taxes because you provided that you're under 59 and a half because you agreed to leave that money until retirement. The IRS says any growth you can have tax free so long as you leave it until 59 and a half. Now, if you're 58 and you put a thousand in, you make a, a hundred. So now uh, let's presume the age is uh, you're 60, right? And you now have a 1000 you put in plus the hundred dollars. If you touch that hundred dollars, there's your five year rule right there. That IRA has to be open for five years. <clears throat> So for most of you, don't let that scare you. If you put money in a Roth and you're saying, I know I need to save for retirement, I'm going to do it, but you oversave, life gets in the way, you have a little financial hiccup or something, take the money back, right? Tell your advisor, tell your whoever you're working with, I need that money back. No reason you can't do that. Okay, that's dollars in, that's dollars out, as simple as explained as we can do it there. Now, what do you do with the dollars while they're in the Roth IRA? A common question I get from the kids is, how does it grow? What is my rate of return? Well, nothing actually happens. If you, if you go about this on your own and you open a Fidelity, Vanguard, Schwab, whatever account, and you put money in a Roth, nothing happens. You have to choose the investments you want to go in there. Now, if you're with us at Jazz Wealth, literally the second you put dollars in there, we'll invest it knowing that we're likely gonna have to adjust as we get to know you, but we don't like money sitting around. And so you technically can invest in anything you like. It doesn't have to be the stock market. It could be a physical piece of property. It could be a storage unit business. Uh, it could be your uh, friend has a business, a hot dog stand, and you want to do, you're allowed to do that stuff. Most people will invest in the stock market using stocks, ETFs, mutual funds, or some combination of the both. The things that you can't invest in are like life insurance, uh, some collectible deer poop, you know what I mean? Like things that are collectible. I don't know why I thought of that, right? Just uh, collectible alcohols, right? You can't invest in those kind of things. Stamps used to be what they used, but who does that anymore? Um, so you can invest. Now let's say for just a quick second, you invest in the stock market. What should you choose? Well, before you get to stocks and individual stocks and all that, let's think about what you want. The Roth IRA says the money that grows is tax free. Therefore, if you're young, you want as much growth as possible, right? Stop with the TikTok and the Instagram with everybody's a dividend income, passive income. Okay, that's fine, but not for a Roth IRA. You want as much growth as possible. If you can get 30% returns in a year, you want to do that. Why? Because there's no tax. Why do we want to invest in Coca Cola that's paying you a little cute dividend? when, okay, you could go get, you know, 10% more returns. Yes, we want that. We want to have the biggest Roth IRA that we could possibly have. If you're retired or very close to retirement, well, that's a little aggressive. You may not want to invest that way because you're going to need this money soon. So what do you invest in? You invest in consistent dividends, right? Because it's not taxable, right? So if you can build a huge dividend portfolio that pays you that passive income while you're 61, 62, 70, whatever it is, sure, it's not taxable. Of course, we want that consistent income to come from a non-taxable account if possible. Other than that, be careful what you invest a Roth in. It's a good account for, be, uh, for growth. It's a good account for dividends when you get older and you don't need growth anymore. And it's a good account for those little tiny but potentially huge lottery ticket plays. If you want to invest a thousand dollars in, I don't know, a penny stock or some small company that you think is the next Amazon, nothing wrong with that. And actually it'd be pretty cool if that worked out because if you made millions on it, it's not taxable, right? So there you go. Dollars in, dollars out how you invest the dollars while they're sitting in there. That's the Roth IRA explained simply. There are a ton of little tiny nuances and gotchas and things that you can do to further advance, hopefully your wealth. Uh, but for the most part, most of you will be looking at those three categories and just trying to get things going. If you didn't like any of this and you say, I 
still worry that I'm doing it wrong. Well, that's what we're here for. We're Jazz Wealth. We invest for all size investors. We don't care if you're just getting started or you're just retiring. We're happy to help you. It doesn't matter how much money you have. And like I said in the beginning, we have the full backing of Goldman Sachs. You're not going to find another advisor that says that, that also says, please come join us. You got to be filthy rich to work with these guys. And we found a little loophole so that we can work with them whether you're selling five properties or whether you're a very fortunate person and you have very complex financial needs, pretty sure we can help you. If we can't, pretty sure Goldman Sachs can help you. If they can't help you, what are you doing? It's probably illegal, right? Stop it. Anyways, that's all I have for you here tonight. Real quick and simple explanation. Roth IRA, if you have any questions, you know where to find us, jazzwealth.com. Feel free to schedule a call and see if we're a good fit for you. All right, adios. Adios.